My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Peter Chrysologus, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He was the Bishop of Ravenna in the 5th century. And Peter Chrysologus is also known as the Doctor of Homilies. In fact, his name, Chrysologus, means the Golden Word. He is well known for his concise but rich reflections. And thus he should be our patron saint, the patron saint of the three minute reflections, so that he can pray for me to keep my homilies and reflections short and sweet, and that they remain helpful for you. And if I ever come across as being draggy or beating around the bush, please feel free to pray to St. Peter Chrysologus and ask for his intercession. My dear friends, we are all called to be docile to the Holy Spirit, so that we can be led by the Spirit and do God's will. But what exactly does being spiritually docile mean? Jesuits are called to obey like a corpse. And is that what being docile mean? Behaving like a passive puppet and letting God pull the strings? Today's first reading contains the narrative of the potter and the clay. God, through the example of the potter and the clay, shared with the prophet Jeremiah what he intends to do with the people of Israel. One way of understanding the imagery of the potter and the clay is that it is the call for us to allow ourselves to be malleable and to have the capacity to follow the Lord and to be shaped by Him. But there's one odd thing, one odd thing that struck me is that God said in the first reading that there are some vessels made by the potter that may come out wrong sometimes, but the potter then can start afresh and work it into another vessel. But how can God, the divine potter, make mistakes? Perhaps the fault lies with the clay and not with the potter. Note that in pottery, the clay needs to be of a certain consistency for it to work. For instance, if the clay is too wet, then even the most skillful potter cannot shape the clay into something useful and aesthetically pleasing. It will simply not hold its shape and fall apart. In contrast, if the clay is too dry and firm, then the potter also cannot work the clay because it is too stiff to be shaped. Whatever it may be, whenever the consistency of, of the clay is off, the potter may have to start all over again and craft it into another vessel. I think to be spiritually docile doesn't mean uh, that we have to be passive or inert and not do anything. Indeed, God is the divine potter and each of us is the clay which is being molded by his hands. We need to be malleable and flexible for us to be shaped by him. But yet we should actively cooperate with the Lord in order for us to follow God's will. We cooperate in many ways, but one of the most fundamental ways is to prepare ourselves, to prepare ourselves gradually. In order to get the right consistency for the clay to be worked by the potter, it takes some trial and error and lots of experience. We too in our faith life need to prepare ourselves to be open to God's words and the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Moreover, we need to ready ourselves to trust in the Lord and to respond to Him. And how do we prepare and ready ourselves? I think it is through experiences of successes and failures that we gradually grow in our faith and trust in the Lord. So the question you have to ask yourself is whether you are ready to take the first few steps and allow yourself to be completely in the hands of the Lord. It may not turn out right the first few times, but eventually you will get the right consistency. Mm-hmm.